a company called Planetary Resources has decided they are going to mine asteroids. Mining asteroids. Mining asteroids. Wrap your brain around that one. Seriously? Whoa, this is ridiculous. This is the stuff of science fiction, you realize. So I got this idea. Let's mine some asteroids. Yeah, let's do it with robots that talk to each other. So let's just step back here. We're on planet Earth third planet from the sun, and then you go out a little bit, between Mars and Jupiter, there's an asteroid belt. There are lots and lots of asteroids in the asteroid belt, but some of them are nearer to Earth. There are approximately 9,000 near-Earth asteroids, but about 1,500 of those are considered viable for this mining operation. What are they thinking about mining? They'd like to mine platinum group metals and water. Platinum? Why would they want to mine that? Platinum metals. Platinum is expensive on Earth because the platinum that's on Earth is used to be in a meteor and crashed here on a meteorite, and that's all there is. We use it for countless numbers of things here on Earth. Pacemakers and for cancer treatments, for LCD screens, just about everything you could think of in electronics. Why do they want water? Why? It's too dry. I need water. They're not gonna bring the water back to Earth. The water is up there because they'll extract it, and they're going to separate it into hydrogen and oxygen, which are the main components of rocket fuel. Of rocket fuel. So you've essentially got a space gas station. So one of the, the most difficult things about space exploration for humans is the fact that we have to lift this really heavy fuel and have to have enough of it to get there and back safely. Another really exciting part about this is that when you start with just this huge endeavor, something that's never been done before, the leaps and bounds that you make in space technology are going to trickle down and come back to Earth. So much of that technology has filtered down to our everyday lives and made life better. The interesting thing about digging out all the, the platinum group metals is that they're gonna have to bring the metals back. That's gonna be difficult. Uh, Houston, this is the asteroid gatherer. Uh, so now what? So how are they gonna do this? That's a very good question. They don't know yet. And here's another thing. When they go up, they're going to kind of corral these asteroids and bring them a little closer to Earth. So no matter what happens here, I'm just completely excited in the pursuit of what's going on here. So there you go. And if you'd like more information, you can go to untamedscience.com. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube.